Head still rolling from the road. Boy. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a... Uh... Okay, boy. Hey, move it! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Please. Come along, man. Where are we going? What's the old... So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. 
Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. As charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Hey, stop a second. You're too close. Wait, Arthur. Wait, Arthur. Any closer and he'll spot us. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh? quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. But I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. You done all right? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Where are you going? Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's neither... Probably kill someone. Oh, would you like that, don't you? Baby? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Yeah. Hey, stop that coach. Get back here! Wait! You hear me? Stop the damn coach! God damn it! Stop right now!
Get out of there! Leave me alone. Leave me alone! It's just a brooch! I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. How about here on the right? Sure. After you? The greatest assembler of entertainment Bring since it! Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as a starting or not. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble we in all more. three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the oh. winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Kaninsky! Woohoo! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Sleep a wing, I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down. 
Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. You. Are about to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh! Stop it! Look at that! You can see how this could go horribly wrong. I hope she stays away from the curtain. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
come now. We have an appointment. Hello? Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr... I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr... What's your problem? My apologies. Of course! We're going to fix you up so fine, no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. We are in something of a hurry here, Arthur. Chop, chop. Let's get you out of that cattle wear and into something decent.
Come on, dear boy, don't be shy. A very good choice, sir. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for him. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? 
Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Come on, let's find the others. Will you hurry up? They'll be leaving dock soon. My god, man, it's like coaxing a dog to the spaying knife. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we... Now, where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> 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 to hell with it. Mm. Call, what the hell? Here we go, then. Hello, That's my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Good bad. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know... I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Now, what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Ship! Ship! I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. 
Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Well, Everyone is the nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. Please, cash these out for me. Gentlemen, are you new? I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Gunshot. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look! There's your friend! Not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation! There he is! Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something. Come on! 
chest. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Easy now, partner.
Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Partner. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mr. Mr. Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. He wants to beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. since you've been back, hasn't it? Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. Okay, now let me see. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Yep, this is the one. Thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. You'll love it. Fine piece. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. Smile on your face, guaranteed. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Let Sheriff Malloy and his boys know about my best deals, as you can imagine. I'm looking forward to testing this uh -oh. out. You stay away from my woman, you son of a bitch! Just a little peck on the cheek! Who the hell are you?
service, you're simply not a gentleman. My friend. Good to see you again. What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your... Ready? Aim. F Good shot, sir. I didn't bat. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Please, put us out of our misery. Don't think too much about it. Just... There it goes. Nothing to fear. Yes! <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Why? I must be the bravest man I know. Excellent. Now do one while I hop. Nope, my sweet. What are you looking at? What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Down's place. Seems a nice enough fella. And look who's back. Real. Hey, that area ain't for you. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. And this shop ain't the place for your tomfoolery. What is your damn problem? You're starting to rile me now, pal. You get the hell out of here. Enough. I've worn out my patience. Get out of my shop. Relax, friend. Whoa! 
What the hell's the gun for? Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up. You're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cow pork who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little business you got back here. Oh, God. Please, don't kill... You ain't killing me, you son of a bitch! What the hell happened here? Hey, stand down. We're country folks, we're country just. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep. In a while, boy.
Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. San Denis? On a riverboat? Oh, okay, then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to San Denis and have you some Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, you let me know. Hell, there's a face I haven't seen in some time. Hey, weren't you with those fellas in here when all that hell broke loose with Cornwall a while back? Cornwall? Nah, no, wasn't me. All right. I guess I must be mistaken. God damn cheating bastards. I see someone cheating, I tell you what, I take a gun butt and knock them loose a few teeth, see what they think then. Sheriff People still hurt around here, you know? The train track. Oh, shit. Someone cut her pretty good. This how it is around here. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guard. <laughs>
one. You must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury, think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here. It's here. Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. You ask this! Don't be a shallow grave for you! Hit your front!
documents? Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. Stench precedes you. Stay away from me! I sense bad energy returning. Stay away! Idiot!
You go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Okay, sure. Good luck. Just hold on there, boy.
Area.
Yep, yep. Yep. You're all right, boy. Hold on. Yep. Here.
Here. Yep. Yeah. 